Hi all, welcome to another Chess24 Banter Blitz. It's approaching 11.30. Let me just show you this voucher code, King's Crusher. You can get whopping 15% off premium membership. Get to challenge even the World Chess Champion and other amazing Grandmasters items, etc. So fantastic uh, opportunity here at Chess24. Very unique. Uh, so uh, yeah well worth it so you can use this voucher code even to get 15% off and you just challenge the, your streamers like 15 20 minutes you turn up send the challenges off and it goes on our challenge list I'm gonna to go to the challenge screen now so uh, okay I'm gonna mute over here and go to the challenge screen and the first challenge today is a very strong player okay let's have a look uh, what happens here okay super bohemio <clears throat> Hi there, so um, I think audio and visual is okay, just let me know. That's a problem. Um, against this, I think d5, I don't really like the pits and stuff. Okay, we're getting a French defense. And haven't we played this kind of thing before? We had an interesting game in this line where I took on b2, but it's quite dangerous off to knight b5. Um, if I just pin this instead, I'll do an innovation. Mind you, a3. I'm not sure this is a good innovation. Oh, okay. Maybe, uh, is it interesting to do this? We'll go back. We go back. Or here. There is knight a4 though. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous. Yes, this dart's going bishop. Mm. Cutting across my king. doesn't seem that clever to give this dark square bishop actually ah uh, oh well try and play rook c8 a5 rook c8 Is there knight b4? Because a b there's knight b3. Here there's knight takes d3 and queen c2. So knight b4 looks like an interesting move. So to recap, a b I think there's knight b3. If queen takes, there's knight d3. If rook takes, there's queen c2. Okay, so this gives me some light square potential. I think I will take and then knight b3 to stop uh, rook c1. Is um, <clears throat> there bishop b3 here for a moment? I mean, b5. That bishop could have been a dangerous uh, for a Greek gift, so I think that was a good thing to take out. Um, h6, is that going to be interesting soon? h6. Queen b6, h6, queen b6, double the rooks. Ah, okay. That's uh, asking me to do something. I'll do that. About the knight. Is there potentially queen c2 lurking around? 
or not. Queen c2. That looks interesting. Get all the challenges in, guys. Uh, challenges welcome. So, uh, Queen c2. I don't know if. Um, am I pushing my luck? Because I haven't really connected the rooks. What I'd like to do is stop the use of g5. Because uh, knight g5 could be dangerous. And play Queen c2 and King e7. I'd be happier in that scenario, I think, with Queen c2, King e7. <laughs> this doesn't look right actually, King e7, but he, he is trying to like, he's got very dangerous potential here. So if I get the queens off, would that be uh, a good idea? Well, I hope it's a good idea. Okay, so maybe I can just do this and use that c file. G6 would be desirable. Yeah, I thought he'd play G6 just then. Okay, I'll stop the use of. Oh, there is Knight D4 coming up. Um. Still, I think I've got that C file uh, to play with. I have bishop c3, rook c3. I think I'm okay here. Um, if I can, okay, hit d3. That looks like a target. Um, and uh, bishop b3 looks like good news. I mean bishop b5 bishop b5 now if bishop c3 there's rook takes c3 yeah thanks okay tough opponent there in the first game thanks talk data okay um let's try this tango so fast and furious for a minute. This system has served me very well, generally speaking. Um, yeah, just in case that's useful, b5. I'm going to cut that out of the equation. I just want to play this f5 plan as usual. g5. It's not very creative, uh, but it's kind of dangerous, I think. Um, so knight h4 and um, okay he could exchange off my light square bishop if he wants or not I, I thought he was going to play bishop g4 that's if it was like king's engine you would kind of want to do that um, okay there's bishop h5 all right can I play a uh, rook g8 oh, I'm going to play rook g8 and try and get some pressure on this G file. Uh, so Bishop D7, if I can play doubling the rooks, I'll be very happy indeed um, to double the rooks. Oh, just in case E5 needs support, I mean it shouldn't do. Maybe it does. Okay, it probably does. I'll, I'll use the rook then. And that's the distraction. The C5 looks like a strategic break as well. It's a bit annoying. Um, H3 looks as though I should play H3. It looks very logical. I don't know why I haven't been considering that much. H3 looks like HG and F3 would be dangerous. Or well, here, um, Queen H4 coming up. And Rook H5. 
It looks mega dangerous because of Queen H1, Queen H2, Queen H1. Uh, thanks to the game, Talk Medita. Okay, uh, yeah, that was. I thought it was dangerous. The G file. Um, <clears throat> I've been looking at these Magnus Carlsen games from his uh, the Blitzball Championship. He did much better than last year. I think he had some disaster last year. He didn't win it anyway. That's probably a disaster by Magnus standards, not winning it. But I was looking at some Blitz games. He's using um, the English opening quite a bit. <clears throat> uh, let me play. Um, maybe it's very provocative to let me play uh, E4 there. This looks. Uh, does Black really want to give me this space? It looks as though like knight g5 or d5 here looks very very dangerous. Oh d5. This is surely too much. D6 and knight d5 is too much, isn't it? Oh, maybe there's a point. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's just in time, isn't it? Oh well. It's a point, isn't it? Um Yeah. Although I'm not sure about bishop d six, you know, because d takes f takes, there's bishop g six. The double pawns might not be amazing there, because I don't know, queen c two. Okay, so that's played instead, right? In this case, can I play knight b5 with the idea of h5 without knight e5? If I played h5 immediately, knight e5, and if knight b5, there's knight f3 check, because I want to bypass this knight e5. I want to be able to play h5, and maybe knight e5. Knight e5 looks very, very dangerous. Uh, in fact, here d6 also looks very dangerous for knight c7. But probably knight e5 makes it even more uh, dangerous hitting the queen first. Uh, so there's a possibility. Well, queen f3, and if d takes, bishop takes, check is mate. You see this queen f3, but I suppose he plays f6. Uh, D takes uh, okay, and then he could take the queen. He plays f6, doesn't he? So although queen f3 f6 is not quite there, I mean that's really it's it's still there's the issue of um, d6 for knight c7. Well, just checking this out again, just in case I've missed something. Queen f3 f6. Uh, can't really see. Okay, so d6 looks like a better idea for knight c7. And support to knight c7. That looks very dangerous to me. A six. I'm I'm taking uh, with tempo. So uh, knight c six, um, knight c seven check. King c eight. There's knight f seven there. That's probably Chapman. Yeah, knight c six, knight c seven. Hang on, what am I saying? No, no, no. Knight c6, knight c7, you have to give up the queen. Right. So I, I think I'm just, just taking this. And um, I'll stop knight b4 just, just in case that's dangerous. Um <clears throat> uh yeah, I mean knight before could could have been an issue. Okay, so um I mean Queen C two is better just to target H seven for a moment. The knight's loose, it, it's a tempo gain on the knight potentially. 
Uh, if I play bishop f4, I can get away bishop f4, can't I? I just want to castle queenside. So bishop h7 is threatened. There's knight d7 <coughs> on me. <coughs> if I wanted it knight d7, <coughs> or back, in fact, easier, bishop h7, rook d7. Oh, uh, that wins the bishop, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks to be winning the bishop. <coughs> <clears throat> unless unless it's stronger, I mean queen e eight, rook f seven, rook f seven, knight g six, takes knight f eight. Just looking at that for a moment. All right, thanks for the game, uh, Chef Friedel. Okay. <clears throat> Will I be fried by Friedel today? All right, we'll have a Sicilian Sveshnikov. Uh, Today, interesting change from London system. Slightly, ever so slightly more exciting. So this is a trap line c3 or c4 for the big threat of queen a4. So there's no time for g6 because queen a4 and then it's one nil. So c3, g6, queen a4, one nil, threatening double check. And mates with either knight d6 or knight c7, and if bishop d7, knight takes d6. So that's a trap here. If you're a Sveshnikov player, is the first trap you sort of should be aware of. C3, not to play g6. So there's probably there's two moves. Knight g6 uh, is one of them, I think. Which is the one I'm going to play, I think. Or knight f5. So to be able to answer queen a4 with bishop d7 without knight takes d6 here, you see that bishop protecting d6. I've, I've looked at a lot of leader games in this uh, recently. Before I got super busy I, a few weeks back. Um, and it seems as though neural networks seem to like black quite a bit. But to imitate what happens in those games is a big ask. I don't really know. <laughs> oh, oh, good. This looks as though um, Queen G6. Queen, Queen G6 plan. F4, the pawns might be a bit shaky. Although, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try this. Queen G6. Uh, I probably want to play, consider playing F4. Uh, oh, okay, that's being a bit pedantic. I'll go back and play a6 then. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cover that base then. Okay. Uh, so back to the idea of queen g6. <clears throat> okay, weakens my dark squares a bit. This uh, might be five. So queen g6, f4 coming up. So f4 looks as though I should play f4. And bishop g4. Bishop g4 looks, uh, the downside is could take and then use e6 with comfort. There's no challenge 
on e6. Do I want to give up that light square bishop? f3 instead looks dangerous. Some sort of rook left, if possible, would be uh, interesting. Bishop d8 might be interesting. I think bishop d7 and try and arrange these rooks to come in with a rook left. So how would that work? Or maybe even e3 is a possibility. All right, now this, this is hemming in the king. I think the king's being cut a bit from an escape route there. Um, so something like rook here, I thought it looks unnecessary, but okay, okay, I'm unlining against h2 with this move, so. Bishop h5 to g3, for example, now concretely. Bishop h h4 to g3. Or bishop f2 is also dangerous, but bishop g3 might be even more dangerous. Mm, that's a pain, isn't it? Although, yeah, I'd like to keep the tension. I like to keep the tension here. Rook f6 to h6. Because there's always a queeny one. I don't want this simplification. Keep more tension going. Uh, so yeah, a rook f6 build up on h2. What what does black do anyway? Sorry, what does white do on rook h6 anyway? H3 does bishop h3. Well, that looks um, um provocative. I guess my E3 is weak. I'll try for Queen F1 mating or something. Or Queen G2 mating. Well, Rook F1 is winning the Queen here. Is that enough? Or is it backfiring? I could play it with rook e3 and rook f1 first. Uh, this would give me a queen d1 check. Mm. And this is stronger. Queen f7, there's rook f3. So after rook e3, yeah, queen f7, there's rook f3. But even there, queen f3 is dangerous. Okay, thanks, yeah, that's one of the queen. It's dangerous. Thanks. Okay, the mechanic. Hmm. 
I remember the system, but without the F5, I think this might be okay for me. Oh, famous last words. D4, E4 is not nice, but D3 is probably plausible. Knight D5, A3 would stop Knight B4 again. So if Knight D5, Knight E2, Knight B4, uh, what do I do about that? So it might be A3 here. <clears throat> so knight e2, um, queen c2, knight e2, castles, queen c2, b4, bishop e2, queen c2, b4, bishop b2. It looks like uh, a reasonable structure. If I can get to play bishop b2, there's some pressure on the dark squares. I know a5. Maybe it's better to be more cautious here with b3. I think d4, e4, knight f4, bishop f4, g takes. I would have uh, there's a blockade knight d5 that would nullify the bishop. Okay, so B3 has been targeted as well. Okay, so we'll go for that then. I assume A5, B5, C takes, Bishop takes. No, not Bishop takes. Is he really going to play A5? I mean, maybe he plays A5, maybe. Okay. Instead of the problem, therefore, um, what I was saying earlier, D4, E4, Knight F4 nullifies the Bishop. If I played f4 okay there's knight g4 what if i played h3 then for f4 i don't want to nullify this bishop with a blockade on d5 so f4 would seem to try to amplify the bishop instead Hmm. It's took out the downside of you know this with uh, h3. I hope um, so. That bishop's pretty good. Okay, there's a target now on f5 potentially. Back here. Well, this diagonal looks fantastic now. So G4 looks plausible. So takes and E4 looks plausible. Unless I'm missing a tactic here. I mean, there's Queen C3 as well. It's not running into Knight E2 yet, but there's King H7, so it's mostly harmless. So I think I would, I'm going to take here for E4. I think E4. Knight E3, Rook F7. Knight C2, Rook G7. King H8. Well, there's rook e7 check and then rook e6. Queen c3, there's queen f2. That's embarrassing, so I think I should go with that. Didn't see that far. Um, okay, I think the two bishops are good though. Mm. 
maybe bishop f1 to e2 to h5 I mean rook g6 is tempting as well okay king g2 here or bishop e2 I'm not just taking this pawn it is a pawn it protects h3 if he doubles maybe rook h8 On bishop e2, king e3, rook f, uh, king f2, or rook g3, king f2. So bishop e2 seems back on the cards without rook h3, because I protected h3 just then. So bishop e2. I'm threatening uh, stuff. So rook e3, king f2. I uh, just think, um, hold on a sec. Rook f4, yeah, rook f4. There's bishop e5 here if needed, and uh, rook h4. Mm, maybe just grabbing another pawn. Mind you, there's bishop g4, doesn't that just win a rook? Bishop g4. Oh, there's rook d6. Oh, king d6. I think on any doubling, there's bishop d4. So I'm going to take this. So rook f8, bishop d4, if I want to cover f2. So that's covering a lot of energy points, um, bishop d4. So maybe, you know, just bishop e3 and d4 coming up. Okay, I can just take that, I think. So I can just play bishop. Oh, bishop c5. Picks up a rook. All right, thanks for the game mechanic. Yeah, I, some positional decisions that I think needed to be weighed up. Done off. Okay, so is this a king's engine or old Indian? Old Indian style against the English setup. So very positional for my rook b8 and b5. Mm -hmm. Just because um, I don't like the bishop pointing at the rook, uh, even if immediately there's no concrete tactics. I don't think it's a good idea to have your variables pointed at with such alignment. The bishop against the rook, but here, I mean, it might be useful anyway. The rook being here for b5 later, or now, in fact, could venture b5 with a weakening c6. Um, 
so BC, uh, I, I guess. Well, I'm hoping this is a reasonable position emerging here. Queen C7 and Bishop F5 later. Or maybe um, Knight H4, maybe H6, Bishop F5. So Knight H4, Bishop H7. Right, my pawns could be doubled. Which I don't particularly like. So maybe this, uh, or Knight E6. Maybe Knight E6 is more sensible. G6, no, no, bishop d7, bishop b7, c5, decisions, a5, maybe a5. Well, I think I'm getting done over positionally. I'll see if he is interested in doubling the pawns. I have to shield d6. I mean, yeah. Quite harmonious. Uh, can I play Bishop F5 here, though? Some sort of concession, is it? I think it might be because there's a sack available. Knight e6. If once I kick this guy back, because bishop d6, rook d6, there's knight d4. Unless it's some weird exchange sack, this seems to be on the cards. This idea. So knight e6, pawn sack idea. Okay. Didn't quite anticipate that there. I can go via a long route to D four. Maybe. Via F eight. I was just allowed rook D seven. Oh man. Okay. Stop rook d7. Well, again, knight g5 to e6. He's going to rule out e6, isn't he? My e6 square is going to be ruled out. Ah. Okay. So, um. Rook f7, bishop e7. Um, I'm not getting to any key square anytime soon. Unfortunately. Um is that any good? That seems a bit random. Oh, mind you, there's a check on knight f4. Oh, that one's the queen. I think I was starting to get done over position 8 in this game. Oh, I didn't really want my double pawns. Okay, thanks for the game, done off. Okay. Friday with white now. <clears throat> um go with E three rather than E four on this occasion.
okay so d5 is that too risky uh, I'll probably get the rook out of the firing line so I think I want to play d5 and um, I hope that I'm not crumbling too much So e4, maybe f4, f5, e5 for d6. In fact, e5 here looks dangerous for d6. What does he do to e5? This looks like provocation with the rook on a8. Okay, takes does knight f5. Knight e4 on the other hand. How about g4 if takes d6 without knight f5? Yeah, I think g4. So d6 here. It so happens the knight didn't have that many squares. Um, knight d5 looks good. Um, queen h4, do I need to worry about that? I like the idea of a central knight. It should look after a few things. Yes. Um, on the other hand, it's a liability. Oh, it's protected by the bishop. I was just thinking knight g3, bishop d4, and then taking it. Protected by the bishop. So can I not just play this to fracture the pawns and then knight g3? If bishop d4, king h1 h4 there's all sorts of things like knight f5 if takes knight e7 all right so now bishop d4 is on the cards for bishop d5 so that is a liability hmm If I just played it back to C3, or what about Knight C7? Just the tempo gain on Knight C7. I'll try Knight C7. Now hang on, there's Queen G4. Well, then there's Knight G3. Ah, it's plausible. It's plausible. It's again, it's sort of getting to be a liability. Uh, queen g4, knight g3. Where does the queen go? Where does the queen go here? Yeah. Okay, but I'm assuming bishop d4 is not deadly. Mind you, King H one, uh, Bishop G two, it's kind of dangerous. H six here. Doing something with that pawn. Here isn't that hitting the rook. A sort of move hitting the rug.
Hmm. I seem to have some more pieces than my opponent on this occasion. Thanks for the game, friend. Okay, Kasparov fan. Hi there, Kasparov fan. Um, C4. So English opening. Inspired by uh, by Magnus at the recent World Blitz Championship, 2019. So e5 and bishop d3, this seems to be very provocative. I don't know, it's meant to be provocative. I'm just going to play h4 and bishop h7 at this rate. Um, Or knight g5 and queen h5. I suppose I lose d4. I've got to be a bit careful. I don't want to lose d4. I'm going to take away these um, knight b4. It does seem as though I should have a I should be worried about C four sometimes. Or do, do I need to be? Maybe Queen E two might be free is mostly harmless. I I would have thought C five to put pressure on the center rather than this piece play with the knights. Uh, if the knight's not doing anything that concrete at the moment, uh, what about b4 just to stop knight a5? b4, knight b4. That doesn't look convincing. I'm going to make sure the knights are not being naughty. Knight b4, ab, bishop b4, bishop d2. Okay, I'll drive this guy back. So a4 and knight g5 coming up. If I seal the queen side, surely that gives me a free hand over there. And there's bishop b4. Could be annoying. No. Right. I could consider just taking that because I don't know about knight d7. It seems a bit fishy. And then d5 is possible because of the bishop c4 pressure against that pin. I think d5 is is more. Keeping the structure intact. If it's tactically viable on this diagonal, um, so E D C D. Ninety five Bishop C four. Um, I have the pos uh, the prospect of D six here, which looks visually crushing. D six. So 
So D6 looks crushing. Uh, anything else? Alright, maybe Bishop E4 then. So Bishop F5, okay, Queen C2. This is a target potentially. Okay, might as well just um oh, rook d one knight a four. Oh, Alright, maybe I should cancel then. Just to unpin this knight if, if nothing else. So d six here. Oh, knight d5 looks like a big move. Ah, oh, potentially it was anyway. Um, it's still it's still reasonable, uh, I think, to try and win c4. Or we'll play knight e7. Knight e7 looks looks pretty strong. Win c4 here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, I I guess I want to play rook f d one and e six. Which threatens E seven. Oh, there's also Bishop D four here, Queen G six. I think E seven first. If rookie eight D seven. D seven looks strong here to me. Well, Bishop D four looks good, pinning G seven. Now Knight E five looks good with tempo. Well, Queen F5 looks good with the threat of Knight F7. Oh, okay. Thanks, Spiral fan. Yeah, that was starting to be dangerous. Okay, Terry. Double his hand. Double his hand. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. If I play like this with. Uh, Okay, fixing that D five. Can I play Knight E five here or not? If Knight D seven okay, there's tactics. E three, I able to play this and uh, offer the bishop. I think just to reinforce the E five outpost. 
G4 for G5. Is that too crazy? Nothing concrete yet. F takes might be more to the point. Undoubling the pawns, the idea of f4 after, or is it because um, g6? Right, it seems I don't know, I have no idea actually. I, I can't work that out. It d takes versus f takes on intuitive grounds. I mean, it looks as though f4 g6 seals things up. There's pointless playing a uh, it seems mostly pointless playing f4. I think I'd have more luck on the dark squares of this c file. The dark squares in the c file here. So dark square play. C file play. Double the rooks. He's going to play that anyway. So if I double the rooks, I can get ready to eliminate that pesky knight. He's feeding me a dark square pawn here, and also he's giving me the c file on queen a5 b3 rooks here. I can take and get three pieces for the queen. But on the other hand, he's giving himself bishop b5. Okay. Can I play Bishop F? Well, well, I'm not sure now. Any Bishop F1 later? Oh, crikey! Is that Queen C5? Oh, this is losing the back row. There's Bishop E8. It's not losing a piece. Is losing control of the back row. H5 is dangerous. B3, A3 should be sufficient. H5, G takes, knight H5, knight H5, rookie 8. No, I'll just use it to fracture the pawns. B3 looks good to fix that on a dark square away from the bishop at this moment. It would give me knight d3 to c5. Any a5, there's bishop f1. I'm not sure h5 is that convincing. So I'll play b3 for a moment. Okay, I think I want to play this to keep the pin. There's bishop f1 coming in on a6. Well, I've just given my opponent knight f5 okay it's not, it's not clever is it there's 94 and that holds actually b5 ridiculous but it holds b5 against bishop b5 as well not just winning a pawn Okay, knight e2 then. 
Oh, that's with tempo anyway on the rook. Holds d4 for a moment. 1 minute 20. Check. Actually, I can eliminate this knight on f5. Can I? There's rook d2 if he wants. Okay. Yeah. Pain. Fifty seconds as well, not not too long. Going for a draw at this rate because it's completely messed up. Yeah, it's I, I've got nothing. Well played. I think Black's fine there, personally. Uh, maybe computer things otherwise. I don't know. Black looks great. Well played. I'm, just get, I'm getting very short on time as well. <sighs> Okay. Okay, so this tango um It's critical test, yes, H4 critical, critical. <clears throat> Just the hem in the bishop and discourage E5. So I think I want to play um, d6, bishop e7, castle if possible. So um, bishop e7, I mean he could play bishop c4 if he wants. Um, I'd probably play c6 and then queen e7. Uh, in fact, given that bishop e7 there's bishop c4 and I've taken away my e7 square, it might be worth playing c6 straight off the bat. Or even bishop e6 and there's knight g5. Uh, there's bishop g8. Yeah, bishop e6 to g8. Just to stop this bishop c4. It's an issue, isn't it? Bishop c4. So, example, rook e1, bishop e6. Knight g5, bishop g8. I'll probably end up casting queenside there. Hang on. There's another. I've just noticed something about this. Isn't there bishop g4 from knight h4? So bishop c4, bishop g4. Or knight h4 here. What's wrong with knight h4 here? There's bishop c4. Hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. So that puts me in trouble, does it? Hmm. All right. All right, I think I've got an idea. Rook f8. It's a bit pathetic, I guess. 
But on the other hand, um, I think it might be okay to play like this. Hmm. Yeah. Castle Queenside plan. With tempo, I'll get tempo and then try and castle Queenside. Queen d7 guards e6 on f3, bishop h3. Okay, I'm going to castle this side where it looks very dangerous. Can I make sure my king's not getting mated that easily? That would be good if my king was uh, not mated too quickly. Uh, this all looks a bit dodgy actually now because b6 looks dangerous with ideas of a6 and bishop a6 and there's also an idea of trapping the bishop with rook f2 to h2 okay uh, that's not what I expected though oh is it bishop e6 okay let's get out of bishop e6 little trap set Well, it could have been a lot worse. If I get the Queen's off, is there any actual uh, benefit there? Oh, I'll get the Queen's off, I don't know. I'll just make sure B6 isn't a positional pawn sack for a moment. So he's got a nice domination on the light squares. This is my worst piece. I can try and reroute it to e7 and play for g5. Any a5 that is dangerous. Okay, g6, bishop h6, or bishop g7, as needed. Still, that control over d5 is impressive. Yes, it's a very impressive grip on the position, unfortunately for me. Um, I'm going to try and encourage... <laughs> oh, crikey. Can I move anything here? Um, It's just clearly winning this change. Um, it is really unpleasant. Okay, is there knight? There isn't even knight c8 coming up. Um, Is that a mistake or something? I 
That looks like a mistake. I thought my opponent got overexcited. Yeah. Hmm. It was just a winning position. Yeah, absolutely smashed. There's a good antidote to my whole <laughs> tango, this whole H4 plan. Unfortunately, I don't like to talk about the H4 plan. Uh, okay, otherwise tango would be more mainstream. Uh, it's it's a sideline opening. Uh, I know. <laughs> For a reason, probably that reason uh the h4 is giving me a lot of difficulties there <sighs> jeez let's take away c4 I want to play bishop e3 and f5. Right, can I not just take here, try and dent the lot light square control? E6 looks good. Oh, hang on, isn't there rook f2? Oh, oh, there's e7 check though coming up. Let's unpin. Oh, didn't I miss e7? Yeah, I'm playing far too quickly. Oh, it's a three minute game. But I've played this far too quickly. That was just terrible. Okay. I'm still playing far too quickly. Uh, I think my opponent's got me in a, a, a grip for trying to match his tempo of play, unfortunately. Okay. 1 minute 51. Time to slow down here. Is there anything, any nice option? This is check, unfortunately. It seems rather forcing. Rook e4, bishop g3, rook f8, rook f8, e7. I'll play this move, rook e4, I think. It looks as though if I tank, then e7, and then knight f5, and then bishop f7. Okay, so knight f5 here is g6. Okay. Knight f5. Is there really G6? There is G6, isn't there? Um, why can't I take on B7? Okay, Knight C5, Bishop C6. Oh, my piece is just hanging. Okay, rook c8, rook d4, rook c6, knight e7. Isn't that, that pawn is still handy. I'll stop the king coming up. I just want to play e7. It's only 33 seconds. e7 looks good. Knight g5, e7, bishop e7. Oh. 
Well, it's only 23 seconds. I might have to pre-move. Uh, I played too quickly on certain points. It's very difficult to manage the clock in a three minute game. I think I did play too quickly. Exciting though, thanks. Ah, uh, okay. Done off. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> I'll try with the Botvinnik style system E4. So I I had E3 in an earlier game, so E4 might have stuff going for it as well. So Knight G E2. It's a nice clamp on d5 here. So I think king h2 and f4. Business as usual. King h2, f4, f5. f5 coming up. Or is it? I think you can just win a pawn there if I play f five. Okay, a build up I think. Although there is bishop h six, I think it's a sort of positional gambit of a pawn because he'll be strong on the lights the dark square, so I'm gonna ignore all that. I'm just gonna build up more with Queen D two and F five. Although taking a bishop h six might be tempting. The other, another tempting thing is just to build up with doubling the rooks here for f takes and rook f6. I would like him to release the tension here. Because that would give me uh, d4 and e5. What f5 here seems pos possible now that the king's there. This bishop e4 tactic is going to be a killer, killer pin. That's possible, I think, now. So bishop f5, rook f5, knight f5, bishop e4, killer pin. I think you just build up on the killer pin. So rook f1 and g4 coming up. Or just g4 coming up. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the pins are really lethal in chess. Um. All right. So King H8. Okay, I'm going to take that. And I'm going to play d4 here. I think I want to play rook f1 and takes and play bishop d4 after. 
with another pin against the king. Or just d takes straight off the bat. Forget rook f1. D takes. There's no d4, is there? Okay, it does support now the f5 bishop. So I think back to the idea of rook f1. So that rook e5 is not hitting the bishop. I want to play d takes, rook takes, bishop d4. Right, so I'm on d5 here as well. So rook e5 seemed logical to protect d5. So rook e5, bishop d4. The rook moves somewhere. This bishop's pins, it's almost as if there's queen h6 out of the rook and the knight are holding h6 there. However, that's a very comfortable position, I think. All right, so bishop d4 here. Right, knight f4 looks very juicy for knight g6. Or oh, just knight takes d5. Can I even just play knight takes d5? Or am I going into some pin backfire? Okay, knight g6 looks looks tempting. Okay, just hold my second rank for a moment. Okay. I could take that. Take on d5. Go for knight h5. So, uh, right. Uh, I might need to hold h. Hmm. This doubling is a bit of a concern, actually. What about g4 for knight g3? It's, it's, I'm trying to address that concern. It's it's concern. Knight g3. I can take that. I think I just want to put a pawn on h5 for a moment. Now there's no rook c2 there because my bishop's on c2 and there's no rook e2. So I think let's check anyway. I'll just take that pawn. Thanks, enough. Uh, okay, so for the left. Okay, so here we go. Fiddle of Bishop B five, eh? Okay, that's an unusual one. So we get a sort of um, Oh, hang on. I think this is okay for me. I got the bishop here. Uh, I'll stop knight g5 and advance. Castle queen side. Well, there's bishop b2 here winning in exchange. I shouldn't pass that off. Um, up. Pass that opportunity up. Um. 
f5 there's knight c5 maybe b6 this is another one trying to encourage me to play super quickly <laughs> I, I need to slow down I need to think let's try and avoid randomness f5 the knight goes somewhere and then g5 can I not start pushing these pieces back can I I'm going to try f5 and then g5 I hope I'm not taking anything for granted in you guys ratings I know some of you are much better than your ratings so I don't want to take anything for granted here so yeah I'm taking this seriously um, every game serious is that a mistake though that particular move could be a mistake was it the wrong night to move I'll just take that Thanks the game fell off. Um, actually, <laughs> does anyone want a three minute game? Because there's only like four minutes left. I'll play Kramnik Student on a three minute game. Not because I'm a chicken, but because there's only like three minutes left. It's honestly not because I'm a chicken and I don't want to get smashed in my last game. That has never occurred to me. That thought has never ever occurred to me. Yeah, that I want to be completely demolished in the last game. It's only because there's, there's only three minutes left. Three minutes left. <laughs> Honest. Although, uh, Although that's not to say I haven't expressed chicken tendencies in many games recently. Uh, okay, uh, but uh, okay. So let's let's see. Let's double the rooks. So knight e knight e five and f four. Um, bishop b six. Already, Kremlin student is uh, has got a grip on the position. It's really annoying grip on the position. I've got nothing, have I? I've got no counterplay or anything, and it's only a three-minute game. Okay, okay. I don't like the position. What has he done to me? I, how have I got this position? He's got a grip on d4. I've never seen this grip on d4 before. Um. Ah! <laughs> oh no, I don't know. Ugh, how horrible is this? Oh, oh, I've just lost everything. There's, there's no, there's no, uh, Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. Um. <laughs> I keep, keep. Ah, uh, oh crikey! Okay, pattern down the hatches. Uh, F3 is F3 a move? It's just as bad as anything else. Weaken my dark square just to hold E4. Okay, I don't want to run into. Uh... Okay, King F2. Okay, I'm now. Yep. Knight D1. I got a mold threat. Queen C seven. Queen C three. He's got like nearly double the time. Um Get rid of the Q 
queen. Oh, this is going to be horrible, isn't it? Oh, this is going to be horrible. I'm trying to undermine that knight. I don't know. Try and pre move with some sort of ideas, if possible. Some sort of ideas. Except what? E5? Just giving even more targets. Uh, can I move anywhere? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, 22 seconds. He doesn't want to draw, does he? <laughs> 15. And he's, he's super quick, and I've just got nothing here, have I? Knight e4 to f6. I'm down to uh, uh, no time at all, and there's, there's knight c... Okay. Uh, it's, it's pointless. Four seconds. Oh, one second. I've gone on the clock. Oh, he's crushed me on the clock. I've never been so badly crushed on the clock. It was a massive grip, though. I, I just had no no plan there. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I was stuffed in that last game, as usual. It's a common pattern for me. Completely stuffed in the last game. Anyway, thanks. <laughs> All right. It was going so well. Today was going so well. <laughs> Until the last game. I should just do a long speech. If there's four minutes to go, I think a long speech. <laughs> summarising the previous games. Okay, thanks anyway. See you next week. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I did notice it was three minutes. It was just, I, you were relentless. I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't really do anything there. All right. Cheers then. Anyway, see you next week. Thanks very much.